Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, hi, my name is Vanessa. I like to do makeup, skincare, and fashion videos for you guys. Today I will be doing more of a trash talk. I'm going to be showing you some things that I have finished for the months of March and April. Um, there hasn't been a lot, but I'm going to show you what I have and let you know what I thought about them. So first starters, let's start with the obvious. I'm definitely going to be using makeup wipes i have finished two packs one which i feel like i've already reviewed um this is the equate beauty makeup remover cleansing towelettes right here i really did like them they work really good awesome for my face don't hurt nothing wrong with them the next one is I think it's called Positive Vibes Only Vitamin C Infused Cleansing Wipes. And I got these at Ross for $3.99. I really did like them. They were really good. The smell was awesome. Um, the only thing is they, they would leave some essence in my eyes, which would hurt. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much the only bad thing about it. Okay, so next thing is this Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Facial Cleanser. Um, I don't like the smell. It does have a smell. It says here fragrance free, but it does smell. I don't know what it smells like. Like cardboard box sort of thing. I'm not sure exactly what it smells like, but I didn't like the smell. But it works really, really good. It is a daily moisturizing um, cleanser. It's not bad for my skin. It actually felt good in my skin um, washing my face. And I can't say. Um, I would prefer a cleaner smell. Um, but other than that, it was good. I, I don't think I care so much about the smell as long as it works, you know okay so now the next things the best parts would be makeup um i have quite finished a few makeup items so let's go to it first thing is the wet n wild mega volume mascara um i used this several times i think i've used it for two to three months straight like almost every other day and it works good it is a regular mascara nothing fancy about it nothing different it doesn't work wonders it just works so I like it next thing is this LA colors graphic graphics eyeliner and this one is in the shade purple um, it's an okay eyeliner I wouldn't say it's the best one it's okay but it was really cheap which I liked and it worked it was purple so it's okay I've had better next one is this wet n wild liquid cat suit mega last matte liquid lipstick this one was in the shade berry recognize and the only reason that I gave up on it was I broke the the way to put it on and um, I guess I was almost running out because I can't even take it out of this thing. So I'm done with it. Next one is, this is a Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick. And this one is in the shade Driver's Seat, I believe. Um, this one, yep, it's it dried up pretty much. It's completely dry, dry, down, finished completely out of it. Love the color, absolutely love the color. Would buy it again, for sure. And three more items. There is the Maybelline New York 24 hour foundation. Absolutely loved it. No problems whatsoever. Um, I would like to have scraped the inside if I was able to open it, but I couldn't even open it. Um, I feel I see there's some in there but not a lot but I really enjoyed this foundation um, if in case you wanted to know I use 130 buff beige on this one next one is the L'Oreal Palace L'Oreal Paris infallible total cover um, this one 
I really like this one too. It was a very full coverage foundation. It was a little too dark for my skin. And, but it was in the shade 309 if you needed to know. I would really have loved this even better if it was my shade. But absolutely loved it because it stayed all day and it did cover everything. Last is this Revlon Photo Ready, Photo Ready Insta Filter Foundation. And the shade that it's in is 210, which is sand beige. And I didn't like this foundation. I did use it all. I finished it, but I didn't like it. Um, it came with a sponge, but I got really disgusted with the sponge, so I took it off. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not the best. Well, that's pretty much it, okay, you guys? Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this, found it a little informative, at least, you know. There are some things that I really like, some things that are eh, okay. Um, let me know in the comments below if you tried any of these products, if you liked them, or if you didn't like them, it's okay. So let me know. And I hope you guys enjoyed this short video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you really like my channel. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.